In this video I will show you how easy it is to quickly model a simple concept design for your portfolio. Stick to the second part of the video because I will show you an awesome new texturing feature of our add-on Materialworks. Let's go! Alright, let's design some simple terminal here. We're gonna be using hard ups and box cutter. Now if you don't use these add-ons, then I highly recommend you grab our free course which is called Jumpstart Hands Everything in Blender and the link is in the video description to we'll teach you all the foundations for blender and also the basics of hard surface modeling now if you are actually using add-ons but you're still new to them we have a different course which is called sci-fi terminal design in blender and that one will teach you the basics of hard ops and box cutter workflow and the link is also in the video description all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to bevel this vert and we're going to mirror this to, uh, to other corners, right? So let's see. Uh, let's just hold control and I should go with Q mark so we can actually do it procedurally. So you see here if uh, you hover over the mark in hard ups, you can get some interesting tool tips. And if you hold control, you can uh, actually bevel a vertex. So we're going to do that and we're going to go with maybe actually let's go with like i don't know 12 segments maybe let's go with yeah let's go with 12 segments if that's okay and then we can mirror this to all sides holding shift like this so then we're going to be working only on one corner yeah so now let's slow the this up let's add some bevel to it but the secondary bevel so we're going to press q and hold control and add another bevel now we have two bevels so you can adjust them by going to q bevel and adjust this bevel and then you can press Q and adjust this bevel, okay? Which is pretty cool, right? Let's make this one really thin, okay? PG. So here um, we're going to create some kind of like openings, uh, maybe uh, for holding stuff or, you know, moving this cart about. So let's create, you know what? I'm gonna make this bevel actually thinner, so kind of tighter here and maybe not this insane actually maybe 12 is fine do this here like that and then we're going to uh, grab a cutter and bevel it and just slice it in here then we're going to apply weighted normals you need that to flex the sheeting on the flat surfaces okay so this could be an interesting base now here in the middle we can actually cut out another piece with a like this and we can go deep here and press t and space boom so that's that and also side here we can create some cutouts for wheels so we could use angon cut for this one and select that and do something like this here and press e and maybe create a cutout like this shift click to shift it to life and we can actually maybe bevel these uh, so bevel them like that and they should do and shift to perfect so now we can actually add some you know wheels here and also let's just drop it a little bit lower so we don't have this conflict here between bullions so just drop it lower there we go that's perfect and here we can actually do some wheels. Uh, maybe this could be a little bit uh, deeper. So let's uh, let's do it again. So Q ever scroll and let's just make it larger. So S Shift Z to make it larger, and G Shift Z and move it somewhere here. And I think this is going to be better. Okay. Cool. So now we can drop some wheel base here. So let's grab a cylinder and make it smaller. Move it somewhere here to this corner right and make it a little bit larger somewhere here like that and scale is sharpen and we're going to actually cut this so let's add some loops and we're going to slice it like this and mirror this to the other side there you go and sharpen bevel weighted normals peachy and then we're gonna add some wheel here so um, another cylinder 
ry90 and let's just scale it and move it somewhere here go to the bottom view come on there we go and we could actually move a cursor here so shift s with machine tools and to select it if you don't know how to use machine tools i have two massive videos on that on youtube so just go ahead and watch it because i'm going to be repeating myself in every single video you know on how to use the basic tools um you can find it on your own so go ahead and watch the videos yeah uh, i discuss all the tools that are in machine tools over there so let's apply scale let's select these two and control be that thing bevel and boom could actually grab this one and create like a actually what we could do is go um em macro and then select this one shift curve extract like this and then scale this a little bit right and sharpen and bevel so this will create this kind of like a rubber you know in the middle of the wheel so now this one has mirrors right so i cannot just go ahead and mirror to all the sides i have to do it with a to create a secondary mirror so watch select this and select this one with shift i'll text and press a to add a new modifier and then um select uh, then mirror this to both sides so now we're gonna have technically um two mirror modifiers going on this uh, on this message here, three of them right because it mirrors across then mirrors here and mirrors here okay and this one there is no mirror on it yet so you can just simply shift select that alt x and hold shift and mirror to all the sides okay so we have uh wheels here which is cool now the wheels could be a little bit deeper so we could just move them here it's gonna look a little bit better and something like that and also we could uh, grab that and you know insert it like this and then e cancel alt s and just drop it in and then scale it like that it's gonna look a bit better right cool so that's our base uh, for this terminal now here on the top we're going to grab a cylinder and also alt v and grab cavity with hard ups and we're gonna go here and make uh, make it 40 watts and let's shift cursor to this one move this one to cursor so it's gonna be in the middle scale this down gz move it here and something like that all right cool and and this could be actually a little bit taller right maybe not as thick maybe that's too tall there you go sharpen this at some you know loops here um but what we're actually gonna do i think in fact instead of adding the loops let's actually create like a telescopic device here okay so this is gonna be the base let's add a loop here split it then select this one and scale it and then drop it down and scale it a bit more and sz yeah it's pretty cool and then we're going to shiver this and we're going to insert this extrude it insert it and extrude it and then we're gonna do the same thing so insert whoa so like this face here insert it and extrude it insert it and extrude it okay so we're gonna get this telescopic device here and also we need to work on these s shift z s shift z that's better awesome that, that looks good this is a little bit too high i think so gz and drop it down cool then on the top we're gonna grab another plane so put it in here and maybe somewhere here and this one uh we're going to actually add these loops and we added before go to and gone and let's actually slice this right like that mirror to the other side now if you're gonna get shading issues like this have a scroll that thing and just find a place where you know there is least amount of grief do you know what i mean then let's actually add another cylinder and 
maybe 34 is enough scale it ry90 move it to the top scale it and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create kind of like a like a hinge telescopic hinge okay so let's scale this sharpen this and then we're going to well, let me think now from the side view let's go to vertex and occlude and we're gonna grab this w tool for selections and we're gonna select select maybe this many and remove the vertices press w alt click here f alt x with mesh machine if you don't have a mesh machine again go here to symmetrize and you can do it manually here select that and then e and extrude it in here just eyeball it and then s shift x and scale it like this to create this kind of like a tapering effect boom i'm gonna rotate it here actually you know what fuck it let's let's leave it like this and we're gonna you know slush it here from the top so do something like that and then we're gonna apply it sharpen and we're gonna uh, extrude it up like this okay and then from the front we need to cut it so let's just go to the other side and we're gonna cut this in here like this boom then ever scroll this and scale it then we're going to mirror this so it's symmetrical and then let's see that g let's just move it to the front uh, somewhere here something like this could be cool actually i like that yeah so we need some loops yeah so before you're gonna apply this just apply some loops so you can have some control here over these cuts and i think this is cool here we could have some uh chamfers so you could possibly select this here and dissolve it so you have more room here for the chamfer and just roll the chamfer and then bevel this right and apply away the normals here on the side uh, let's by the way let's save it because if this shit crashes i'm gonna get pissed so save it and always run power save PowerSafe is a fantastic add-on that will allow you to, you know, not to have a nervous breakdown when Blender goes boo-boo mode, yeah? Uh, run a cut here, apply it. Let's just turn off this path through. Let's scale this, inset it, and actually that's too much. Let's just scale it a little bit. And then Q, Shift, Curve, Extract. There you go, Sharpen, and let's just run the chamfer scale it a little bit more and then inside uh, extrude it and scale it boom right that's cool we could actually lower the bevel on this one to make it more mechanical and we could also add the chamfer here it's gonna look cool right and also when you run chamfer with um you know connecting edges they're gonna slide so you can turn it off here to mitigate it also this probably should be connected to create a bit more smooth you know more smooth transition there we go it's better right and then i'll take so the other side boom done so there you go and then where's our plane here so let's just drop this down you know you could have some additional mechanism in here um let's say uh we could have some hang on let me just delete that we have some additional mechanism here so let's think about it so let's um extrude it here and then you could actually scale this and extrude it like that to indicate some kind of like a lifting mechanism and in fact to make it a bit more light what we could do is cut this here or in fact even better we could do something like this it's gonna be i think cool um yeah something like this press b to introduce some bevel slice through so be a bit of a lighter composition here you could ever scroll this and then go to d and turn off the cyclic on and gone and now what you can do you can actually cut um shapes like this which is really awesome so we could cut a shape here i press t to make it larger and then we could press cut a shape like this press t to make it even thicker and just move it somewhere here with g 
Let me rotate it a little bit and slice it. Boom. Is it too much? No, I think it's okay. We could actually maybe... Uh, let me just ever scroll this one, then ever scroll the cutters on this one. Maybe remove this cut. I think it's gonna be better. Yeah, this is better, cleaner. So now let's grab the plane and you know move it to the top. So now we get this kind of movable top here. Looks a bit lighter. So do something like this and then scale it. Scale it on. Maybe it could be a bit wider here. And also what we could do is um, grab a loop here, subdivide it. And then he extruded on Y axis, scale it on uh, on this axis, and GG move these corners down a bit. I'll take to the other side, grab this corner, and actually chamfer it as well. How are we looking? We're looking pretty peachy. Now we could um, select all these and whoa, come on, press F. I'll take to the other side. Then we could grab all these points. Right, so select all the points and then shift control B and bevel them to create a smoother kind of a top. Let's apply scale, uh, let's just run the solidify and then bevel. That's a bit too thick, I think. So let's just go to solidify and maybe drop it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to cut the, the shape here. So let's go in. Let's just turn off cyclic now. Let's go in and cut something like this here. Okay, and then let's uh, smear this to the other side. Perfect. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, I'm thinking about actually applying solidification. So follow me here, yeah? Apply solidification. So if this top face, go to side view. And if you have Devil's X version of machine tools, you can do this, okay? So. You can actually turn this face around like that. If you don't have it, just make it thicker and slice it with an angle, okay? And then let's retrieve uh, this one and make it thicker. There we go, that's much better, it's much more interesting, okay? And here we could have some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of a panel here in the back like this. Uh, X and slash it, yeah, like that. Okay. And then apply this. In fact, what we could do is cut it off here. Maybe that's gonna be cool. And then what we could do is actually recover this from the back. Come on, this back view. There we go. And cut this like this, and actually the other way around uh, here. Cut it like this. We're gonna have to connect two supports on each side. Oh, this is mirrored from the other side. Hang on. So, cut here. There we go. Now, how are we looking? With the normals. With the normals. That's good. I like that. Cool, cool, cool. And we could have some cables here, you know, like just a drawing surface or object. You go in, press J, and go out with E, and stop. And then let's just roll, lower the bevel. This bevel is a bit too crazy. And we're going to apply this. And then we can create kind of like an you know, opening here for a cable or whatnot. Cool. And this could go, you know, like somewhere here with a cable right? Um So there we go. And um, um, now we're going to create a glass. So let's grab this one here. So let's apply this. Okay. So sharpen. And then we're going to run an edge here in the middle like this. Gonna grab this edge here, okay? Q control control curve extract, then fill it with a face, and then Q solidify press two to solidify both ways, and sharpen. And actually, let's lower this bevel a little bit. When I press Alt M and Shift, click on Mat to add a glass. Now you know this should probably be sitting on this, so we might actually create. Um, some kind of a support here for this one. So let me actually add a circle, a cylinder, move it up and scale it like this here, like that, and scale it, and then make it a bit thicker 
and do something like this, battle this, right? And come on, inside it, extrude it, scale it, right? That's pretty cool. So this table is gonna be basically like a holographic, you know, display or whatnot. Here we could actually run um, chamfer uh, from the other side because it's mirrored. So here, all right, and let's lower the bevel so it's gonna look more mechanical, okay, more kind of like a you know machined sort of piece. Yeah, here too we could run a bevel. I mean chamfer. It's gonna look really cool. There you go. And uh, we could have a really tiny chamfer here, um, you know, on the on the inside. So just uh, a small one, okay? It's gonna look really nice. And here, we could actually round this up, right? So do something like this. You know what I mean? There you go. Um, and I'll take to the other side. Boom. So that's sorted. And now this one could also be slashed here, like this. So it's B and then X, there you go. So we're gonna have this terminal kind of a situation here. And then let's just move this here a little bit forward. There we go. You always wanna mitigate, you know, the eventual damage caused by. Here we can have some uh, from the other side because this is mirrored, right? We can have some wedge cut so press w and hold control for a perfect wedge cut then we can do the same thing here or we can move this uh you know here like this boom hold control boom right it's gonna add some this cool sci-fi you know detailing here right awesome that looks really really cool guys i like it and now uh we're gonna have some fun with decals so actually wait uh, we're gonna have some projector here on the top so let's cut this also there is some kind of a misalignment here so let's select this and this one with shift alt a and bottom to align this there we go with machine tools machine tools is fantastic should always using it there we go and then the uh let's grab a square here the square cut let's create a cut here press w to remove the wedge cut press b for bevel and we're gonna slice it here a little bit Press T um, for certification and do this. And then we're going to apply this. Go here, operations multiply. Right? And then we're going to grab this. Press L to select all of it. P selection. There we go. And then we're going to lower the bevel. And click, alt, click, and run the chamfer here. Okay? There we go. That's better. Now we can create some kind of like a, you know, a device in here. So. Let's cut this uh, with bevel like this, so E and then J, E and extrude it out like this, okay? And then we're going to create a, another cut here like this, okay? And then B and then J and, and then E. Shift click and then let's just GZ this here let me see that and then press b for bevel and make it less crazy and then e to the bottom there we go and then let's press um let's grab um let's just sharpen this and let's move the original geometry cursor to select it and then we're gonna add a sphere on top of this gz uh this is not merit all right, so here what we're gonna do, just let's delete that first, this sphere. So we need to mirror this across this object. So mirror across the object. Then we're gonna apply that mirror, right? So grab this and apply the mirror, this mirror, and just don't apply the bevel. Then we're going to shift S into geometry, the origin point, shift S and cursor to select it. And then we're gonna add the sphere. And scale it down, right? Okay, and place it somewhere here. All right, and we're going to boolean this. So, um, booleans and union. All right, and uh, 
we just have to fix it a little bit so just sharpen this and you know just clean it a little bit okay it's really not that difficult i'll take to the other side done and here we're going to oh there's still some beef in here let's just remove this edge dissolve boom and here in the middle we're gonna create another sphere so um i'll take an, another sphere make it really small we're gonna create this kind of like a lens effect right and put it somewhere here okay all right and a modifiers union and here what we got what we're gonna do uh we're going to you know clean this up okay so you can just turn off the bevel for a second click i'll click out let me just apply this first so boolean and just apply this click alt click here with the mesh machine if you don't have a mesh machine this will not work yeah so just don't boolean them together just leave it like that why go to offset cut this is an experimental uh, tool it should be eating the geometry but it's not huh let's go with exact this will help there we go and then we can just boolean this right i mean bevel this like this so you know have a nice you know thick bevel and you can see there's a shitty problem here so we can clean that click out click y boolean cleanup there we go and this should clean the top and if it doesn't you know you can always clean it up manually a bit and here too click out click and y boolean cleanup and just you know scroll your mouse and clean it up there we go and that will do so this is gonna be our camera um you know kind of like a lens we can actually cut it here like this All right sharpen this and click alt click y offset cut and you know boolean uh, bevel this one click alt click boolean cleanup and bob your uncle okay let me just clean this up here because this is um terribly terribly dirty so let's press three to clean it that didn't work okay click alt click y boolean cleanup let's just combine this like this uh that's actually too many there we go let me see that now that's clean so insert it now perfect and extrude it scale it insert it and uh q and shift curve extract and sharpen this and bevel this right so so create like a lens small lens here bevel here it's a little bit too crazy so let's make it smaller here we can just you know manually bevel this and you know you got this tiny camera here right to project a hologram so there you go that's uh that's done and uh, you know what else we can do here we could create some some screws here T, like bolts whatnot on all sides it's gonna look cool and we could also add some handles but you know just to drag it whatever i don't have a cable or installed but we could just run the like, cables you know to some kind of a device here in the back also this could be angled slightly so what we could do is um rotate all these elements so you know select that and just rotate it a little bit around this so shift s to select it and rotate around the cursor um so here one more time select all that and just simply rotate it like this it's slightly angled it's gonna be cool and then what we need to do is just uh, go to cycles and so i'm gonna show you the material works new feature which is gonna be edgeware and damage now first we're gonna apply actually uh, proper glass here so canopy glass and let's just drop the elf on it cool let's just also change color to something bluish uh, like this and then we're going to um, drop a, a decal here we're gonna drop the one of our decals uh, the emissive ones from the our decal pack i want to have like a keyboard in here it's gonna be holographic uh, keyboard here somewhere in the middle a bit, a bit smaller and the end project and here in the back we could have some additional stuff like for instance i don't know some displays you know like this some here right and uh, we could also have 
another one here on the other side you know this boom right and then you're gonna have in addition to that you're gonna have this holographic display this could be actually fixed in in photoshop or you know it's so easy to edit in photoshop i don't think i'm gonna be editing here so uh, project project done so that's our holographic display and then we can add some mats so let's make this one metal uh, let's go to metal and let's make it maybe graphite steel this should work and this one could be the same color really so we can just you know copy the mat here that's fine this one could be also graphite steel and maybe this one could be something else like maybe half mat steel right just to make it cool and these could be, I don't know, the same color, I suppose. Just to create some cool, you know, variety of colors. I don't know why this shit is blue. I don't know. I'm going to just copy this shit here and see what happens. There you go. And this one could be actually metal as well. Um, it's kind of a steel thing. And this one too, yeah. And the wheels, you know, uh, they could be also steel. And this one in the middle could be rubber. So let's go to rubber and rubber tire. Whoa, not this. One more time. Uh, this is going to be steel. Come on. And this one. Operation small apply, there we go, gonna be rubber tire, so click here, and rubber, what the fuck, oh this one, my bad, rubber tire, there we go, that's better, okay, that's cool, that works, and probably need some floor here, so just drop some floor, there we go, and the floor, let's just, let's just make it a bit smaller, so shift Z, and apply scale and the floor could be just you know floor floor so boom right there we go and let's just increase the scale so go to transform and just you know make the scale a bit larger so it looks like a floor now let me show you the uh the edge where it's very cool so i'm going to go here to edge it's still experimental and you're going to see two options one for edge one for the whole thing so i'm going to reduce the strength of this here add another map go with this dirt here which looks pretty cool and then go with another map and go to um go to rust and change to rust c and we're gonna create this kind of like a dirty floor effect which is really awesome and here let me show you how edgeware works on uh, on this so edgeware boom and we can actually change the scale as well here so make it a bit smaller and also drop the strength and the edge were the same. So let's go here. We can actually increase the width of the edge wire, which is pretty cool. Change the strength. We're also going to have a color of this edge wire um, as well. So it's going to be really cool. And now we can add some dust to it. So let's go to, let's go to dust and maybe reduce the strength. It's a bit crazy. There you go, and it's a bit dusty, right? And here too, let's just add some edgeware and maybe add some dust. So it's gonna be like a dusty terminal and this one's a little bit too strong. Oh, let me see that. There you go. And you got yourself a cool terminal. All right, guys, and then, you know, then we can have some, uh, add some decals if you want to. Uh, we could, you know, get some uh, decals to just make it a little bit more cool. Let's just switch pivot to individual. Uh, you know, just drop the number here. Project, boom. And uh, so we have it here. And then we could have some, you know, we could have some decals here as well. Maybe some, I don't know, some kind of speakers or whatnot maybe some something here you know just drop it project um there is no decal support yet for our mats uh, this is going to be coming in 2024 but for now what you can do is shift d whatever and then add a regular mat to it 
like a BSDF mod, just drop the metallic and make it darker. And now watch, I can use this mod, which is material, on a decal to kind of match it to this color. So I could select this mod here, right, and select this color here to kind of match this. But let's make it a bit darker now. And let me see, make it a bit more dark. And I think I'm going to increase the roughness. There you go. And then what we're going to do is grab that and D, match D and hold shift to adjust the uh, the outer layer of the decal and then D and match and you can adjust the inner, inner layer. So D and hold shift and adjust it and you just need to find this material which is basically material, right? So uh, you can kind of match, you know, the decals more or less to the to the surroundings um, that's the only way to do it right now but we're gonna be adding support for uh, for decals later on this one not only has a bevel so let's add the bevel here just don't make it too crazy there you go and this one could be actually um, let me see that this one could actually be a massive so alt m and just alt click on this one and make it blue or actually red or whatever the fuck that will do right that's pretty cool. Actually, blue would be better, I think. So, you know, kind of color of a hologram. So, boom, right? And you got this emissive thing over there. That looks pretty dope. And then, you know, you can get more detail, uh, decals if you wanted to. I mean, you could just keep stuck in this shit. So, you could add some, you know, some de decals here on the side. Oh, I can drop this one. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as it looks, looks cool, I can be bothered reading that. So here, and then we can drop alpha on it, you know, to just blend it a bit better with the environment. See, boom. Don't make the decals stand out too much, yeah? Um, that's really important. Um, I actually place it somewhere here. Right. There you go. And uh, could have some stuff here. We could have trim sheets as well. Now, trim sheets will not work either. But you can use um, you can use the uh, uh, trim sheets that are actually with mats. So uh, alt click here, and this one will not work because there's no mat on it. But if you're gonna run a trim sheet with mats, boom, see it's gonna work. So you can use trim sheets as well, which is really cool. So I could run a trim sheet here as well. So trim sheet and alt click. Actually not alt click, just click. Sorry, because we already added trim sheet. So click here, boom, there you go. And you can, you know, add more trims here if you want to. Something like that, right? And it's gonna look pretty dope. This is a little bit too too broad, actually. So let's just narrow it down to this part here. And then, you know, trim sheet and boom. And you can add something here on top as well. Something like this, maybe. To add some more interest, you know. And you can very quickly add details uh, to your model with decals trims and you know all this all this stuff here in the, in the front we could also have some have something like i don't know this whatever just to add some more detail right so we could have two of them small ones here and there d project and then d match the shift one more time d match the shift there you go and then simply mirror to the other side and Bob Janko, right? And there we go. Cool, guys. Well, that's it. Like I said, the Edgeware feature is going to be coming soon. Possibly uh, still in December, but I don't know. Still working on it, so it's going to take some time. But I'm pretty sure that January, you know, we, we're going to be ready to drop it. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it. It's fantastic. We're having a lot of fun playing with it. Actually, you know what? Here, I could... Uh, Run the chamfer, I think it'll be better. There we go, that's better. Awesome. Cool. Alright, guys, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.